Hello everyone, this is John for PokerVIP.com and I'm actually going to change it up a little bit today and I'm going to do some sit and go double ups. Um, I was actually speaking to Kerry who is obviously one of the prolific posters on Poker VIP. She said she kind of, you know, enjoys playing speed poker but maybe gets a little bit more enjoying out of sit and goes. Um, so I thought I would uh, test the waters, see how it worked out and uh, hopefully put some of my strategy across in these. Now, double ups will be half the field gets double their money. Pretty simple. Uh, generally, there's going to be a low ROI in these, you know, return on investment. So you've got to play quite a lot. However, you know, you can get on a nice run. You can, you know, really bink some buy-ins. Now, as only half the field is paid, the goal is not to win. It's to come in the top two or three or five, depending on, you know, how many you know, what handed the tables are, because as, as you can see, you know, there's four handed, six handed, eight handed, I believe, and even ten handed ones. Um, so it's kind of like a strategy based on surviving, but being in a good spot where it's not, you know, you who's being blinded out and you who's going to come, you know, who's going to finish on the bubble, basically. So as you can see, I've got $88 in this account I've been using to make some 5NL speed videos. I thought we'd try and spin it up on these. So I'm going to get registering just to anything I can find, you know, regular, turbos, um, anything really. So I'll just uh, I'll get my name in. Actually, maybe I can rank by players here to get it going quicker. 10 euro one looks good. And yeah, we'll basically just hope uh, hope that I run good, show some uh, good strategy. We'll get into some of these turbos. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Get these running. And that's actually really cool. You know, I was looking through the filters down here in more and I couldn't see double up. But I just looked down the side of the sit and go and there's actually just an, a nice tab here saying double up. So here you can see what's running. Um, I've got 5 euros to 10 euros as my filter, which you can make in here, where it says buy in min 5, max 10. I think they'll do well for the video. As you can see, they're starting to fill up nicely, so we should be... Uh, off and running soon, get into some strategy talk. If you want to sign up to Paddy Power, it's probably the best place for you to play these. Uh, here or Betfair, I'd imagine. Now, the reason that is, is because they offer insane rake back deals, uh, bonuses, rake raises. So if you're paying lots of these and paying and paying, you know, anywhere from 50 cents to five euros per sit and go you play, and you're playing hundreds, maybe even thousands per month, you're going to get half of that back at a minimum. So, you know, every day where you spend 100 euros or 10 euros, whatever the amount be, on registering for these, you're going to get half of that back. Now, if you actually play lots of these and you start raking, you know, big amounts, you're going to get more than half back. You're going to get maybe 70 to 80% back. So, pokevip.com forward slash deals to find that out or hit the chat with us box now. Um, even email us at hello at pokevip.com, you know, whatever you need. Um, okay, so as you can see here, we've got a 10 euro double up. So in the lobby, you can see first to third, get paid. 18 euros 18, because obviously it's a 9 euro 9 cent buy-in. You're paying 91 cents. So as you can see, out of that 91 cents, even though it doesn't sound like a lot, you're going to get around 45 cents of that back at a minimum. If you're getting 45 cents back per sit and go you play, and you play you know, 100 per day, for example, that adds up to some serious money that you're just going to get back and back and back. That can seriously, you know, make a nice living for you just off that. So if you're beating the games and getting this on top, you're going to be absolutely rinsing it. As you can see, levels here, all seven minutes in this one, it's a regular speed, so this one will be a bit slower. Obviously, you can play turbos and super turbos, um, which is obviously, you know, really makes it a bit more fast and furious. It depends what you want to play. We'll have a nice mix here. So, we've got these guys, we know that we can win 18 euros 18, we know about the rake back, let's do this. Other ones should start up soon. As you can see, I've actually got a PokerTube background on today, that's our uh, sister company. Uh, head over to the uh, PokerVIP forum to find out more about the PokerTube tournaments we're running. We've got lots of cool value added ones. King 5 here, I think that's a pretty easy fold, I don't think we need to be defending hands like that out of position this early on. Obviously, later on in the tournament, we have to be very aware that when our, when the blinds get bigger, people are going to be trying to steal them, you know, a lot more frequently. Because to stay in this game, you need to keep adding chips, you know, it's like a tournament, you've got to accumulate chips. And a really good way of doing that is obviously opening the button, 
which is the last position you know we can open before the blinds, and to steal the small and big blind. Because remember, when we post blinds, that's just blind bets. We have no idea what cards we're going to get. We've all been in the small blind and big blind a lot, and we understand what junk we get. You know, the seven deuces, the ten threes. Even hands like king nine, where it's not like a weak hand, but it's a hand you don't want to play out of position. So you can really pick on people from there. But for now, when the blinds are only, you know, ten twenty, we can just fold. So far, this one eight three two three zero three guy has opened every single pot or limped. So uh, he might be a weaker player. I see very little to no need of playing bad hands right yet. Um, we don't need to play a lot of hands. We don't need to be loose aggressive. We just need to be very tight aggressive. You know, good solid poker. Check the lobby. See if any more start. And I'm making this video as you can see here at twelve forty four. Um, uh, you know, the Western European time, which is basically UK time, so early on in the day. Oh, a super turbo one, we'll definitely register for that, that'll be fun. Oh, we've got another one starting here, it is the 5 euro double up. So the same level, 7 minutes, it's not a turbo, it's not a super turbo. We can turn our 4 euros 53 into nine euro six and remember I'm gonna be getting around twenty five cents back for just playing this tournament but only if you sign up with pokervip.com Jack four is a very easy fold as will five nine offsuit let's see here we've got any of the same players on one two three mixed one two three he's on both tables so I guess he's probably a regular who grinds these out for pokervip.com because let's face it, no matter what you're doing in life, you might as well get some money back for doing it. You know, whether you think, oh, but I only rake 50 euros per month, we'll get 25 euros back. I mean, that pays for a couple of beers on a Friday night out. If you rake a 1,000 euros, get 500 euros a month. I mean, that's like the average rent in a lot of countries, you know, so, you know, definitely get involved in that. 810 suited, we can peel here. Um, it's a very low percentage of our stack. It's a hand that plays okay post flop. It's versus this guy who we might think is a weaker player. Um, but I am just obviously looking to hit the flop really hard. And obviously pre flop, I was getting a good price to call. But on a king 4 4, uh, there's just nothing we can do there at all. Okay, we've got another one going. It's a super turbo 10 euro. So the uh, blinds change. The bottom left here, hit lobby. As you can see, the levels go up every two minutes on this one. So you have to play a lot more hands. You've got to be a lot more aggressive. Also, it's four-handed. Um, so you've got to be a lot more active. You know, obviously, hand strengths go up. You know, ace-jack becomes a, you know, a sort of ace-queen type hand. You know, it becomes a, a little bit bigger. Uh, so you just have to not sit around for as long. And as you can see, we get a lot less chips as well, only 800. Um, pocket fives here. I can go ahead and open pretty happily. 6-4 off suit though, we all know that one's a muck. 5-3, let it go, let it go. Ace check under the gun. Um, it's the worst days I'll open under the gun. I don't want to fold it. Um, I think it would be a bit too tight to fold. But I could understand people's logic. You know, it's this early on, we've got this many chips. There's, you know, five people to act behind us. But I'm fine opening that and I think it's a good open. As you can see on the uh, Super Turbo game, already uh, bigger pots. And look at this guy, full card 22, he's sat out. This happens a lot. Uh, it's not something you can feel bad about, you know, stealing his blinds. It's not something you can feel bad at that he's burning 10 euros. People register, they then go and make a sandwich. They, you know, they go make, um, you know, a cup of tea. Or they just forget and log out. You know, maybe they've, you know, had a session and forgot about the last couple. And, you know, there's just one guy sat out, so... Now we only have to beat one other player, and you can see he's short already. Ace Jack, I open under the gun, and I see about a 10 5 deuce. I expect to get a lot of folds there. Once he calls out, I just want to give up. Um, I don't want to be risking chips unnecessarily. Um, Ace Jack, I'm definitely calling here. This guy's going to be opening a lot to steal this guy's blind. I don't think I need to 3 bit yet. I think it plays fine as it is. Um, once he checks, I'm going to be ahead a decent amount of the time, um, or up against you know a similar ace high. 
happy to check this down. If he bets the river, he can definitely have a king in his range, but I think he'd also bluff this river a lot as well. Um, and, I, and I've got the ace of clubs, so he's either got a hand like king, jack, or king, queen here, or absolutely nothing. Yeah, he's got ace, deuce, so that makes a lot of sense. Pocket jacks here, I'm actually going to check call on the ace high, 4, 5, suit, I'm going to fold. Okay, full cards just sat back in. He's made his T. He's uh, he's in game now. Pocket jack, some check calling. Um, a lot of times, and the reason why I do this is because if he has like ace king, ace queen, he's gonna re-raise me pre-flop. You know, he's gonna put in the third bet. So I tend to not believe it. He can definitely have a hand like you know ace ten suited that he might fact call. He can have a hand like king queen, but you know I just basically want to check to let the guy stab at the pot. He bets small here, so it looks like he does probably have a hand. I don't think he's going to be bluffing that often. Um, I am getting four and a half to one, but I reckon he's probably got like at least a king, probably just a weak ace that he's chopping with. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold that. And obviously, you know, jack queen gets there, pocket tens gets there, so we can let that one go. A couple of easy folds, and over here I'm going to make quite a big raise. Um, ace queen's a large hand, obviously. We're four handed. I don't want people just seeing flops for free. I want to build pots. This guy limp calls, which is really unnerving. Um, he's going to have a ton of like small pairs, suited connectors. So I'm actually going to bet small and then give in. Um, not anymore. You know, I was kind of, you know, thinking if I bet small um, and he goes all in, I can fold. Um, but now I've hit my queen. I feel like I've got the nuts. Um, a lot of people might go all in here, but I'm going to bet small because I think, uh, again, he's got a lot more one pair type hands than flush draws. Okay, so he's a horrible situation. He can definitely have a set. He could have definitely slow played pre-flop. However, I have the top of my range pretty much. Um, he could still have a draw. He could have a worse king. Um, I just thought I was run out of time there. So I've got to just go with it. And there, he's got the worst queen with the flush draw. Sadly, he hits. Um, but, you know, I get it in good, so I can never be sad at that. Okay, so a turbo, a turbo double up has just started. So, slightly different again. We've got four minute levels here with the 1500 starting stack. So, 5-3, I'm going to have to fold once, but then the next hand I'm going to have to go all in. Uh, obviously, we now just have to try and spin up our two and a half, well, three big blinds, pretty much. A7 suited goes all in there versus 10. It's a bit weird this early on. No need to do that. You know, 25 big blinds. You're going to catch a lot of people making big mistakes here. Um, so you've got to be the, the person not making these big mistakes. Okay, so another a turbo 10 euro. So just like the one that just started. Okay, pocket threes, we're all in. Hopefully only one person comes along here. Okay, looks like it's going to be two, sadly. Bad flop for us. I think we're going to be out of that one. Pocket jacks, I'm going to check back. I can call turns. I can improve. Um... I'm going to have the best hands a lot of the time. I'm going to check when he bets to me. I've got a roll flush draw. I think he can call with worse, so making a bet seems perfectly fine. Pocket threes, we double up. Nice, nice, nice. Jacks, we get raised. I'm not exactly happy, but I can't fold. He's representing a flush, a straight, a full house, or trips. Um, yeah, I don't expect him to be bluffing here, so I'm just going to let it go. Do six. I've got five big blinds, but I can fold that. You know, the blinds can go through me, and I can still get back in the game. Pocket fives, I'm going to call here to set mine. Um, not the greatest one for us, even though, you know, we can have the, the, the best hand. But we're going to be out of position against two opponents, so I'm going to let this one go. Ten four, easy fold. So as you can see there, you know, that's the good thing with like these super turbo double ups or double ups. You know, I went down to um, 85 chips, I'm back to 255, one more double up and I'm, you know, third in chips. Two more double ups and I'm chip leader kind of thing. Um, there's definitely a lot more room to get involved. Jack Queen here on table one, top left. Um, I call pre-flop. Um, I think it's an absolute fine hand to defend with. I'm going to check the flop just because I don't want to get check raised. I don't want to make the pot really large. I want him to be able to bet the turn and me to be able to just call. Once he checks though, I can just go ahead and bet here for value and protection. We get a fold. Luckily I got a walk the hand before so I don't have to jam this 3-4 offsuit. I can actually just fold it and wait for a good hand on the button. Just doesn't play well if we get called and you know he's going to be getting a good price. He's the chip leader so... Want to stay clear of that. A couple of easy folds on table one and table four. Uh, three eight offsuit. I'm going to fold that as well, even though I only have two and a half big blinds. You know, I've got one more spot until the blinds hit me. I'm only going to put in ten chips on the next hand, so 
we can be a little bit more patient there. King 10 just to fold. Okay, big hand one time. Ace 3, that'll do it. It's nice to have an ace in the hand. Going to be 30% against a lot of hands. Or even a favourite, so that's cool. Pocket 9's here on table 5, uh, bottom right. I'm going to go ahead and make it 4 times the big blind here. Basically, we isolate versus him. We get some value. And we play their pot probably heads up post-flop in position. Being called with the ace 3, like I say, I can be ahead or I'll be 30% against a ton of hands. Hopefully, ZZZ PKR falls. I want it to be versus only one player. Oh, damn it, he's called. That's not good, and that's a dreadful flop as well. We get led into with the nines. Um, not exactly happy, not exactly sad. Just going to go ahead and make a call. Ah, uh, up against Jack Queen. So we did get in good. We need an ace. Sadly, we miss, and our nemesis uh, knocks us out. But we played perfect there, I believe. Pocket nine's going to go ahead and check. Uh, we don't want to play again. We'll get rid of that one. So that's one down. Didn't go our way, but I think we played great. Pocket Jack's here. Um, Five-handed. Um, I definitely think we can get it in good, so I'm going to go ahead for the 4-bet call. Pocket 9s, 3 overcards. He's representing, you know, some sort of queen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call. I just don't believe it too often. Wow, queen 4 off. Jack's all in. Sadly, we run into aces. It was for a large proportion of our stack, but like I said, I think people are going to play smaller pairs like this. Ace queens and ace kings as well. I don't want to call and play out of position. So sadly, there's two down. Maybe I'll brick them all, but hey-ho, that can definitely happen in the session. Jack-Queen, blind versus blind. Easy open, as was the ace-queen down here. Once one leads, you know, I can just go ahead and call, you know, call down. Basically allow him to bet worse. Basically allow him to, you know, bluff, you know, do silly things. So I'm just going to call, call, call. Jack-Queen, great turn for us. Just going to keep on betting. I can, you know, get all the money in on the river here, pretty much. Um, Jack-Queen, uh, ace-queen down here, he's checked. The... Pot's pretty big, so I'm going to make a decent sized value bet. Um, Jack Queen's here, going to go all in. Made a flush, why the hell not? Ace Queen, we get a fold, that's sad, but I think you know around 70% of the pot was a good size. I think my Jack Queen suited hand looks a little bit unbelievable here, so I don't think he'd fold a Queen too often. If he's got two pairs, he's definitely not folding. If he's got a straight, he's not folding. So I went for the maximum. Maybe I could have bet slightly big on the turn there to set up a pot-sized river jam. Slight mistake there, but I'm not wearing my glasses. I've actually lost them, so uh, <laughs> bear with me. Uh, Jackson suited. I can call here. See a flop. Yeah, I'll get a 5-1. to one. Seems fine. So, so far we're left in a 5 euro regular, a 5 euro turbo, and a 10 euro turbo. So we can still win. You know, we're 0 for 2 at the moment. Let's try and win at least one of these. And it's actually funny, um, some friends of mine who don't play poker were asking me sort of, you know, what I did, you know, rather than just playing poker all day. And I said, oh, I make videos for this site. Um, and they're like, oh, so I guess you only post the winning ones. And I laughed and I said, well, actually, on quite a few, I've made uh, made myself look a little silly. Uh, you know, made the odd uh, incorrect play or, you know, things just haven't gone well. And I ha I'm happy to post them up anyway. You know, we all don't win every day. I think coaches who try and uh, just show, you know, big winning sessions are kind of lying to people and just try and basically making poker look so easy. I know when I was uh, starting out, I used to watch, you know, other coaching videos from you know the top pros and you know they'd be like okay so I raise the button here you know I flop a set I get it all in versus top pair and I win and I was like oh well poker is really easy as a lot of us know poker is definitely not easy some days we win some days we lose so you know obviously just uh, keep on playing the more you play the more you know chances you'll have at winning and the uh, better you'll become also, you know, if you've got any comments, if you'd have played any hands differently, if you want to question some plays, leave some comments below. Make sure you also sign up to Paddy Power Poker through PokerVIP.com. Go to PokerVIP.com forward slash deals or hit the link in the description below. Bit of a bit of downtime here. Oh, Kings gets it all in. He actually turns some equity with his club, but bricks. Nice hand ace king there. Is that one man down? Nope, almost.
Also, um, obviously it's December now. I'm making this on December the 1st. This is the best time to play poker because so many people stop going out until sort of, you know, Christmas Eve. They, you know, are fed up with the miserable weather, the snow, the rain, the cold. So they sit and grind more. So, you know, there's a lot more action. Um, also on here, table three, you can see another guy sat out. Like I say, this is a pretty regular occurrence in these type of sitting goes. There's one man down, two to beat. Obviously a 10 euro one would be uh, nice for us to cash in. Gets us to uh, pretty much break even. We started with $88. We've bought in, we've got $38 in the account. Let's see if we can get it back up. It's not looking great <laughs> so far. But like I say, these things are all about large samples. And by large sample, samples, that just means big volume. You know, the more you play, you know, the more profit you make. And obviously, remember the rake back. You know, if I've bought into uh, $40 worth, that probably means the rake's been around $3. So, you know, I've got $1.50 back there straight into my bank. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you do this 10 times a day, that's $15 a day. You know, 30 days a month, that's 450 bucks in your pocket. Two people sat out now on this table, three. That, that'll uh, make for really interesting dynamics. Gonna go ahead and min raise the button here, try and steal. And also, you know, when the blinds are on these two people sitting out, I'm gonna be obviously really trying to uh to steal their blinds. Gonna go ahead and just make a half pot C bet here. Um Queen Six Six is just a dry board, I expect a lot of folds there. This uh BF05 just sat in, so that's annoying. Can't steal his blind now. I think A's three in the cut offs a little bit too loose and a little bit too wide there as well. Uh, six seven offsuit is a fold as will jack nine suit. Don't be you know calling off large percentages of your stack with these you know suited gap connectors. We want to be the person people opening hands. We want to have big hands. We want to be in control of the pot. Wow, bad check by king queen there. He should definitely be making a small value bet. What was he up against? King Jack, yeah. It, on that river, like I say um, in a lot of my videos, people aren't going to value bet for you. King Queen seems like the nuts here. Um, flop 120, turn 120. Even if you bet 120 on the river, you've got to get people in bad spots. You've got to get you know as many chips off these people so then they start making a lot more mistakes. Jack 7, I'm happy to call with. You know, people are going to start trying to steal a lot more. Jack 5, I'm going to open. I think min race is good. Jack 7, I'm not too happy because this is a decent chunk of my stack. But I can't just call and then fold second pair. He's going to see bet on a king high flop a lot. So I've got to get involved. He checks here and a diamond comes. Um, he's going to have me beat sometimes. I don't expect him to have a flush that often. I think on the river he's going to check in you know, a lot of hands as well. Pocket 5s, I've got to call once. You know, I'm getting a good price. Ooh, queen 10. Okay, that makes sense. I think he played that hand pretty well. Pocket fives here, I'm not happy at all. There's too many overcards. Even though he could be betting into a draw and I'm getting a good price. Um, you know, I don't want to just bleed off chips to him, so I'm going to let that one go. Ace four, I'm going to check here. I don't want to raise. I don't want to create a big pot out of position with a weaker hand. Bad flop for us, so I'm just going to let that one go as well. I don't think I'm registered for any more, am I? King Jack, I'm going to check call. Um, he's going to have a lot of nothing. Um, so I can just sort of, you know, check call down quite comfortably. He can have a 6 or a 7, but he's not going to have a flush that often. He's probably never going to have an ace, so... Pretty easy check call with King High. Nothing changes on the river, so I'll call again if he bets. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Ignore everything I just said, but I mean, whatever. I'm just going to min-raise blind versus blind here with Kings. A lot of people might make a mistake of going all in. But I think that, you know, that just loses a lot of action and we need to cool the guy. I don't mind if he calls and play a pot out position with pocket Kings. Got to have some confidence, basically. Ace-5 here. 
Wow, this is really close, like a jam. I think it's actually fine to go all in here. Um, basically, I expect him to limp fold um, a lot of his hands. So I think if I make it three or four hundred, he might call. But I think going all in, I get the fold, so that works fine. And if he does call me for you know pocket eights or something, I'm thirty percent. If he calls me king queen suited or something, I'm a favourite. So. I'm not too sad by doing that if he calls. But I expect him to fold, which is the reason why I do it. As you can see as well, Paddy Power is part of the iPoker network. Really nice software. Everything's working perfectly here. Very smooth to play on. Pocket Nine's going to go ahead and open. I think a min raise is absolutely fine. There is an argument for jamming here because, you know, we don't want to be, you know, playing a 600 uh, 600 uh, chip pot here. I don't like this because he min raised. He could just be being silly. But for six, 50, well, 12 big blinds, um, I've got to go with nines here. It's just too strong. Oh, now I'm not happy. Whoa. Looks like the worst hand's going to win. I didn't expect this guy to call, and if he does call, I expect to have him absolutely crushed. This guy had queens, which sucked, but I would have still had a nice side pot if I managed to hold versus ace-king. But, shit happens. Not looking good so far, guys, but you know I feel like I am playing the hands correctly. Just poker doesn't always go our way. Leave a comment below, would you have gone with them nines? Because, you know, we can't call. Uh, can we really fold there for 12 big blinds effective stacks when there's dead money in the middle? Or what we perceive to be dead money? Uh, that guy's also been sat out for a while, so he might be just playing a little bit funky. So we're still in the 5 euro double up, and we're still in the turbo 10 euro. Let's hope we can win at least one of these, you know, finish on a positive. <clears throat> Queen do suit, I'm going to try and win this guy's big blind. It's not a must open, but... People like to fold, like I say, people aren't getting involved yet, you know, the blinds are only 30, 60, so I might as well try and steal a bit more often now, if people are playing tight. Also, if you do sign up because of this video, uh, when you do sign up, let us know, say, I signed up because of John's video, um, I want to claim my free Poker VIP goodie bag, and basically what that will be is t-shirts, all Poker VIP ones, the quality of them are incredible, the designs are mint as well, um, patches, you know, maybe even chucking a couple of Poker Tube and Weak Tight items for you as well. Um, 8-3 suited, you know, I check blind versus blind, I flop a pair and a flush draw, I'm pretty happy to go with this hand. So I'm, uh, you obviously want to start building a pot, so let's go ahead and bet. We can also check there, I guess, but that's only if we think this guy's trapping pre-flop. But even if we do get it in versus him, we're going to be 50%. We're going to be a big favourite versus, you know, draws as well. Easy fold, 7-4 off. Big pot going on here, table two, ace ten five eight with two hearts. Johnny Juve seems to be in a tough spot. Obviously these two have got a ton of chips as well. So if someone there doubles up here, it's gonna be a big one. Wow, he flat calls. So you might have a hand like Um King Queen of Hearts, um Ace Jack, Ace Queen, um Wow, Ace Jack wins, nice value better. What did Johnny have? I'm guessing Ace Nine. Wow, King 10. Leave a comment below, what do you think about that? Calls pre-flop, checks the flop, calls huge bet on the turn and a massive bet on the river. Maybe just fold King 10 pre, do you think? Go try and steal the blind here. A little min raise. I mean, 6-8 off is not the best hand, but I feel we've got to really start mixing up and getting involved now and stealing this money. Great flop for us, you know, we've got an opening in a straight draw, I'm going to bet, and if he goes all in, I'm going to call. You know, if he's got like ace five, pocket, you know, threes or deuces, then we're in pretty good shape. Ooh, horrible one for us to be up against. Ah, and we're drawing dead on the turn. Obviously, we want our eight to be live there. You know, if he's got pocket sixes, that's fine. 
Uh, we still had a nine or a four, but once the turn comes, we're uh, drawing dead, sadly. But I think, you know, once we open pre-flop, we get a flat call, and um, we're totally entitled to just bet calling off there, because obviously we've got half our stack in the middle. We expect to, you know, be, you know, in decent shape, you know, getting the right price to do so. So, no win so far. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this last one and uh, save a little bit of our uh, money. Pocket nine's going to open again. I'm not going to fold if someone goes all in. I've got 13 big blinds. I've got two in the middle. I'll be getting a good price if they go all in. I can be ahead. Uh, the, you know, people, you know, three bet shoving 20, 21 big blinds. You know, they're going to be doing it a lot wider than nines. We get a flat call, sadly, and we see an ace, ace king nine. Not ideal. Um, actually, get to my hand into a bit. You know, basically, I just want him to fold here. Um, you know, if he's got a hand like ten jack, queen ten, uh, he can fold. Um, if he's got a really bad king, he could fold. Um, basically, I just want to end the pot. Sadly, he goes all in, so I guess he had a flush draw, or just an ace. So uh, hey ho, we're down to nine big blinds. It's all in our fold territory now. Leave a comment below. Do you maybe check that nines? Do you fold if he bets the turn? Did I make a mistake there? Leave a comment below. King five, that's not the hand we were looking for. So, a really bad session for me here. Obviously, when showing off a site and something, it's nicer to win. But, uh, you know, you got to just keep on playing. Maybe in the next five, I'll win three or four of them. I, I, I've only played, you know, double ups a few times, and they've normally gone a lot better than this. Um, it's quite easy to cash in the top half of the field. Obviously, that's uh, not been proven this time, but nobody's really been, like, busting. King 10 here, I can't call an all in, but I can go all in. Um. Hmm. Getting two to one. I've got king ten. Six hundred left. I love pot size jam. I think this is fine to go all in with. Uh, he's going to have a lot worse. He's going to be trying to steal my blinds. Sadly, he's got me pipped again. But I've hit. Hopefully, he doesn't improve to with a jack. Lovely. A little bit lucky by me there. But like I say, I think he's going to be trying to steal my blind. He can have hands like jack queen suited, jack ten, queen ten. You know, king nines. Um, even up against you know ace fives, ace sixes. I'm in you know mediocre shape. But hey, look at us now, second in chips. Maybe this is the one. Pretty easy fold for King Deuce. Also, you know, there's a really interesting thing with sitting goes. Um, with sitting goes, when you lose, it, it never really like feels that painful because you know you understand that you know you can't win them all. But the feeling of winning lots of them really sort of motivates you. Um, you know, if you keep you know coming second or first or third and winning money, winning money, then um, you know happy days really. A6, I'm just going to jam here because I don't want someone to call. I don't want someone to go all in because I have to fold. By going all in here, I can get hands like ace-8, ace-9, ace-10 to fold. Maybe even they want to start folding ace-jack because they don't want to you know, wrestle versus me. They can fold fours, fives, and sixes, and so on. Kings, though, back to the min-raise. Hopefully we get some action here and become a huge chip leader. Let's do this. Good. Great. Boom. Nice cooler there for us. We're back in the game with chip leader. We've got how many chips? 3,368. Right, this is the one, guys. We're going to finish on a win. We'll still be down, you know, three or four binds, but we're going to finish on a win. Not going to let this one slip. Look at that there, nine euro six cents waiting for me, plus you know twenty five cents back off the uh, rake back as well. Ace ten here. Um, I won't fall to anyone here, and I'd be jamming on everyone as well. 
even blue sky like he's going to min raise the button a decent amount of time ace 10 is going to be absolutely fine to play back at him i'm going to put him in a really tough spot as well because he might not want to call off his whole tournament and even if we lose we're going to still be second or you know maybe slight behind jim marley here's a very easy call if one two three goes all in i'm going to be ahead a lot of the time sadly he folds but we win the pot you know three and a half k stack here we are king three yeah i'll be folding this one it's just a little bit too wide to jam on jim i don't want to min raise and then play a pot out of position or i'll allow him to jam on me as well so i'm just gonna you know give up my 75 chips four deuce again not a hand i need to be playing we need to put people under pressure but not like by putting ourselves at risk either we're in like a really fortunate position having 3400 chips at this stage we need to sort of maintain this stack or add to it um we don't really need to be like risking and risking and risking queen eight again just you know no need to play it Ten Jack, even though it's a nice playable hand, just in this spot it's not. You know, four people behind us, all of them, you know, five, six, the you know, twelve big blinds deep. Uh, we just gonna get jammed on a lot, you know. So we're gonna open, give up three hundred chips, fold. Um, you know, let's just make the game harder for them and easier for us. Ace Jack, a hand I'm not folding to anyone. If someone goes all in, I call. If someone raises, I go all in. Unless there are two people in the pot, then I let it go, kind of thing. But here, I'm pretty sure there'll be some action. Ready to call one, two, three, really quickly. He will jam on me less light than he jam on someone else because I'm the most likely to call. Uh, King Nine's a good jam by him, though, in my opinion. Interesting board. We need a Queen Ace or Jack. Uh, actually, no, yeah. Okay, sadly, he binks on the turn. We were still live. You know, we could win. But, uh, you know, he played his hand perfectly well there. Queen 7 blind versus blind again, just not strong enough to jam. Now we kind of, we're not in the danger zone, we're still chip leader, but we're not like as in a good a spot as we would be. You know, obviously we'd have like 4.2k right now. And uh, now if we go all in and lose, we're down to like 800 chips and a massive uh, short stack. A say I would have gone all in if this guy folded. Um, you know, I would have put pressure on the blinds, you know, they've both got, you know, 10 big blinds or less. And, you know, ace-8 is absolutely fine to do that with. But once someone opens, we just let it go. Four, three off. Not at all the hand we should be playing here. Under pretty much any circumstance, I guess. Also, it is a great time to uh, grind, not only because there will be a lot more action, we're, we are running the Winter Miracle Rake Race. Go to PokeVIP.com forward slash promotions to view that. Basically, you'll be getting your 50% plus rake return signing up with us. You'll then get this rake race on top. Which, it depends how much you rake, but that could have like another 15% onto your overall rake returns. Ace 10 here, again, just not going to be folding. You know, people are going to be jamming wider, people are going to be opening the button, people are going to be going all in blind versus blind. Ace 10 just is uh, too strong. So, yeah. Oh, we get a walk, okay. Fine, I'll take it. We uh, we win chips. Uh, three is blind versus blind, I'll definitely be going all in versus Jim Marley. However, if one of these two players goes all in, I will not be calling. Um, obviously, I'm never calling here. We're going to be behind a lot of the time, or at best 50%. Um, I basically you can jam with it because people can fold, um, but you don't want to call with it because then you're guaranteed you know seeing five cards and pocket threes just aren't gonna uh, play well enough there, in my humble opinion. All in here by Jim versus Sulgus J. Gets a fold. Do 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 do. 3-7 off, I'm sure you all know that's a muck. Mm. 
pair of fours. Wow. Okay, I think we can go all in here. It's pretty close because it's blue sky. Um, but like I say, people can fold. Um, we have to try and win these blinds, 225. Folding is really borderline. I, that, I'm not exactly happy doing this. But, um, you know, folding all in is definitely the correct move. Leave a comment there. Which would you do, fold or all in? After I jammed, I was like, oh, maybe I should have folded. <laughs> uh, that's a shame. We get a fold of face king. We get, well, we get a walk of face king, should I say. But again, we win chips, so we can never be sad at that. Given his Jim Marley a lot of walks, um, I would have folded Jack 3 again. It's just, you know, coincidental. That blind versus blind, I'm not getting a lot versus him. Look at these shulling Vez J. Uh, put us out of that misery. Ace 4, be jamming this button if it folds to me. Da -da -da, bam. Again, I expect them to fold a lot if they call on 30% a lot of the time. But I don't want to min-raise and, you know, play a pot with Ace-4 offsuit, really. Oop, Jim Marley's got a decision. He's probably got on, like, Ace-10, Ace-9 suited. King-Jack. Good folds, everyone. We're chipping up again. We will win this one. I'm not going to lose 5 out of 5. You know, I need to save some pride here. Also, whilst you're on Poker VIP, make sure you check out all our other free videos. And also head over to the forum. It's the fastest growing poker forum online. So, good time to get involved. Lots of people who are just starting out. Lots of people who make a living from the game. Lots of people who are semi-serious. Lots of people who are just there for the banter. Uh, no trolls allowed. It's a really nice, friendly forum. Some really cool strategy pieces as well. All in here by Blue Sky. One, two, three, mixed with the decision. Ace nine, great call. Big favourite here. Oh, they can get a chop. No, wow, that's pretty brutal not to get a chop. <laughs> wow, okay, so early who went down to um well early, one, two, three mixed, sorry. Who went pretty low in chips as uh, climbed his way back. Still two more people to get knocked out of this. Um I'll be calling anyone with phase ten, probably apart from mixed. I don't I don't know if I can call. He's giving me a lot of walks you see, but if he raises I'd go all in, that's for sure. You know, like I, I don't mind being the one going all in, but I don't want to call off my tournament life um with phase ten, basically in this spot. We get another walk though, so we save any chance of busting or being crippled. Up to three K as well, really nice. Jack Knight suited I will be jamming on Marley for six well, for seven big blinds. Um, you know, it plays pretty well against his calling range. Again, if he folds, that's the idea. Um, versus a button min raised by mix, though. I'm just going to let it go. I don't want to call. I don't want to go all in. So, only kind of leaves one option. A7 off. Again, I'll be going all in. If it falls to me, I'll definitely be calling this. I'm not going to flat call because I don't want anyone to come along. I want it to be heads up. I feel like I'm going to be a, a good favourite here. If not, you know, I'm going to be pretty live. But I don't want it to be against two people. So I'm ahead. It's a great flop for us. It's an amazing turn. And we are down. We are now on the bubble. I am, I'm in a really good spot to win here. Me and Mixed. Um, as long as we don't battle, um, you know, there's a decent chance I'm going to double up. You know, Sulling and Jim are the ones in trouble with five big blinds. Obviously, though, like, say mix calls here, that takes him down to 2k, so things can change quickly. You know, I could still, you know, bubble this if it just doesn't go my way in a couple of spots. Um, but that is just part of the game. This will be a really tough decision if Sterling goes all in. Because he's on the bubble, so I expect him to have stronger hands. So I would probably fold him, though it's for seven big blinds. I'd rather be jamming with it than calling with a6. He's thinking for a long time. <laughs> okay, he folds. Oh, lovely. Boom. Almost up to 4k now. A lot of walks. Really nice. Okay. I'll be going all in versus Jim here. Um, he's going to fold because he doesn't want to bubble. Uh, Jack 5 suit is going to play, you know, fine versus pretty much everything he can have. But I expect him to fold. Um, obviously, he's not going to fold ace-queen. We get a really bad flop. He doubles up. 
Um, but even against Jack 5 there, as you can see from the percentages, we were doing pretty fine. Now we're kind of in the danger zone a little. One more one more uh, loss and we're kind of uh, crippled. But um, we're still fine. We're still chip leader. Jim Marley had to call there, obviously. But if he's got a hand like Ace-5, he might fold. If he's got a hand like Queen-Jack, he might fold. Well, I think he would fold Queen-Jack. Because, you know, on the bubble, you've got to put an extra bit of pressure on. I think we were just a bit unlucky to run into a monster. 4-8. Let's go ahead and let that one go. Wow, all in here by uh, Jim. Jim's going to be chip leader in a minute. Wow, great comeback. But as you, like I say, things can really change quickly. Go from 800 chips to chip leader in a two hands. So basically we're now all just really want Suling to bust. <laughs> that's, that's all we want. Hopefully I'll get a walk here. Doesn't look like... Oh, I am. Perfect. Getting walks is obviously just incredible for us right now. 400 chips back into the stack. Deuce 5, not good at all. I'm not even going to uh, try and steal Jim's blind with a really rubbish hand like this. Ceiling goes all in. Hopefully Jim will call. Go on, Jim. Damn it. We basically want someone else to risk their stack. It's actually quite even, even fielded now, which is a shame. King 7, I'm going to try and steal the blinds. If someone goes all in, I have to fold. I don't want to go all in with King 7. Uh, but I'm just basically going to try and steal the blinds. Again, we're on the bubble, but sadly, backfires again. <laughs> I guess he just has a pretty decent hand there. So We tried, we failed. Move on to the next hand. I vowed I was going to win this one. I'm still going to win it. Oh, Suling's just on a mission now. Suling does not care. He probably understands, you know, the power of the bubble. Knows that we can't exactly call wide. King-10 suited. I can't call an all-in. Uh, but I would probably peel a min-raise. Suling's on fire. I like it. No fear. But again, you can call in with King-10. You can't call it all-in with King-10. Love this guy style. He's just going to keep going all in every single hand. Really makes it difficult for us guys, but you know it can definitely backfire on him as well. You know, once someone calls, he's then in a bad spot. Nine five, not nothing we can do there at all. Nope, Jim goes all in. Wow, big cooler there. Hopefully, we, an ace or a king comes one time. No, wow. This is nerve wracking. Queen six, no, can't do anything there. Suling all in again. Wow, I never really go on this long to be honest. <laughs> I thought this would be a 30 minute video, we're up to 50 minutes so far. Um, hope you're still with me, hope you're uh, not bored of watching me fold. Ugh, here we go again, wow. We're nearly the short stack. When did this go wrong? The VIP guy, 10-4 suited, ooh. It's a fold. Right, we've got five big blinds. The blinds have just gone up. We need to go all in. We need to double up. Or we need to get some folds. Big hand one time on the button? Nope. Luckily, mix one, two, three is there, keeping us propped up. Hopefully, people jam on his blind this hand. Hopefully, I jam on his blind. A four and a four. Let's go. Five big blinds. Blinds going to go through us next time. People can fold, we can be flipping, we can get it in ahead versus deuces or threes. Alright, nice. Okay, we pay for our blinds. Mix one, two, three under four big blinds. He's probably going to go all in versus me here, which will suck. I don't think he's going to be giving me too many walks. Oh, wow, okay, perfect. Getting back to that 2.5k mark. You know, second in chips now. King five, not the hand we were after. Probably is an argument for jamming here versus Jim, but not when Mix has only got three bigs. 
we can't call his jam though, so it's just fold. Basically, now we're just aiming for Mix to bust in this next orbit. We don't need to risk our stack when he's there. It's like ICM suicide kind of thing. Okay, so he's going to have two big blinds next hand once. Okay. Jim raises. Putting him under pressure. Nice. Nice play. Okay, mix one, two, three. Time to step up. Can we be the one who busts him? Wow, this is close. This is really close. I'm going to min raise with the intention of getting him versus one, two, three. But if someone jams behind, I'm going to make a really, really tight fold. Okay, perfect. King Jack just plays too well versus this guy's any two. Okay, with 60 40. Need a king or a jack or a club. Oh, brick. God damn it. Now we're the short stack. <laughs> I assumed I was going to be ahead there versus, you know, any two for two big blinds. Um, backfired, but nice. Wake up with pocket jacks here. If we win this, we're second in chips, so happy days. Here we go. Are we going to bubble? Are we going to make it five out of five losses? Jim's never folding. It's a flip. Boom. No ten. No ten on the river. Bam. Back in the game. Second in chips. Feeling good. Four five off is going to be a fold no matter what the situation. Suling goes all in. Hopefully Jim calls him and we put this bloody sit and go to bed. I should have registered for some more um, to keep everyone entertained, but I really didn't think this was going to go on for that long. King 9 suited is like an all in or a fold. Um, Suling likes to call, so I'm actually going to elect to fold there. King Jack, I'd have definitely gone all in. King 10 suited is really close. But I don't want him in raise, him to go all in, me to fold kind of thing. Pretty level playing field again. Hashtag when will it end? Jim Marley makes it 750. Interesting that he prefers to raise and go all in. I prefer to go all in personally. Damn, not the hand we wanted. And I don't think our walks are going to continue. Yep. Got to let it go. Nine, ten for six big blinds. I think I've got to go with this. I, th I expect a lot of folds. If I don't get a fold, 9-10 plays okay. You know, if he's got ace-8, uh, king-queen, um, jack-8, you know, jack-queen, you know, we're okay, basically. Look at your folds. We're never going to get it in ahead, but we're going to be, you know, 35-40% against a lot of his calling range. You know, if he's got pocket sevens, we're flipping kind of thing. Deuce, fold. Eight ten suited. Can't call an all in. Oh, actually, we can versus mixed. I think we'd be getting a decent enough price. And 8 10 suited plays absolutely fine versus his all in range here for three big blinds. So, yeah, we are calling. It'd be bad twofold. Here we go. 8 10 versus Queen 7 one time. Not good. Good. Great. Boom. We win. Finally, you have won the tournament. Bam. 9 euros, 6 cents. So, obviously, this didn't go to plan how many I wanted to win. But it's nice to finally, uh, you know, finish off as a winner. Um. So this was John for PokerVIP.com. Sign up, PokerVIP.com forward slash deals. I'll hit the link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave some comments, claim your t-shirts, get the rake returns, and good luck at the tables. Goodbye.